Hey there guys, how you doing? It's Drew here and today is day number 1291 review video here for my progress um, inside S Group and we're just going to jump right into this. Uh, we're going to do a withdrawal here. We've we've made a bunch of SGCT, which is nice, and then almost 50 SWCT. So when I get 50 there, I guess I could do a withdrawal of that. Um, but yeah, I want to talk about, because uh, I do get these comments, guys, uh, from people, just random people in the YouTube comments there, not from people on my team. For my team, I have my team group, which is right here, where you know we can chat inside that group there, right? So for the <clears throat> random people there on YouTube leaving comments, guys, so what I'll do is I'll show you guys how to find, um, you know, the latest news, I'll say, kind of thing like that. So what you want to do, like, this is all I do. Okay, It's very, very simple. I come over here. I go in the investors chat group, guys. I pay for Telegram to be up uh, upgraded. It's like Telegram Pro or something like that. It's like five bucks a month. And then everything for me is converted into English. Okay, so anything that Sergi says, boom, I can see right away. I don't have to go in. You know, click over here, click on, I know it's not there, but click on translate and then translate uh, every message individually. Okay, that's what you do if you don't upgrade your Telegram. So that's why I recommend you do is just upgrade your Telegram and then you can see like in real time when updates come out, okay? Because they're not gonna go and they're not gonna do updates about the little, you know, audit updates or about the trial updates or anything like that, guys. They're not gonna do that through the company, um, updates channel okay they're you know through the company updates updates channel they'll probably just say something like oh liquidity is provided to um, s wallet for swct or something like that like along those lines that's all they would say right but if you want to know the little you know pieces of the puzzle that make the full puzzle come together then that's basically what you have to do if you want to know it you know, the same time as, as the Russian speaking members that actually follow um, there. So for us guys, we kind of have that excuse is that, you know, if you don't upgrade your telegram, it is like a pretty big pain in the ass to follow the updates in this group here. But that is the solution guys, is to follow uh, the posts in this group, meaning update your telegram group, update your telegram, okay? So normally what I do is within the week that I see an update posted, okay, about the progress, I'll go and I'll post it in my little group. So this is my little group here I have. Okay, you can get to my little group. So for instance, this is one of my YouTube videos. Go to the YouTube video description. Any video that I've done in the last, I would say six months, guys, you'll see this link here, my public English updates channel. You click that and that'll take you to the group. Okay, so that's how you get into this group. Then what I'd recommend you do is just join this group and follow the posts I do in this group. Okay, because kind of every little thing that I see that I feel, oh, that is important, people would want to know it, I'll put it in this group here. Like you can see, at least once a week, I'll put a post in here. Okay, and that's normally how information comes out is kind of once a week, right? We'll hear something that is just a little piece of the puzzle, right? If you don't know anything and you're, you know, one of those people asking, say a question like, oh, how do I sell SWCT into USDT? That means you don't know anything. Or if you're asking when is, you know, like there's still people now saying, when is the audit going to be done? Like the audit's obviously done. They've said all claims against the company have been proven to be false. No new claims have been brought forward in the last four months. The auditors have not asked for any more uh, information to be audited uh, in the last like three months or three and a half months. So to me that, I know the company hasn't said the audit is done, but to me that means the audit is done. Uh, the stage they're in right now, guys, that I know of is, which I don't know, is they're either in the pretrial right now, they have a set date for the pretrial, or they're waiting for a pretrial date to be set, okay? Personally, with the information that I've seen out there, meaning that all claims against the company have been proven to be false, I don't think that it's going to go past a pretrial. I don't think it'll go to trial. I think it'll just end at the pretrial. Like they'll come to a conclusion at the pretrial, which would mean that most likely, um, you know, everything would be solved like this summer or at least, you know, 2024 uh, is what Vadim said. Like, oh yeah, 2024. But I think like this summer, right? Like I, I'm pretty sure they're going to have the pretrial done by the time summer rolls around, like June, July, that type of thing. That's what I would think. But once again, that's just my opinion on things, guys. I don't know. Like they could have said, oh, okay, we're setting the pretrial for October. They could say that. And then, you know, that means that things wouldn't be solved by the summer here, right? But if they are in pretrial right now, 
then you would think things would be solved by the start of the summer, right? If they have a pretrial set out for, say, three months from now, which would be like July or something, right? Then you would know that, okay, things would probably be this, this, uh, things would probably be solved the end of the summer or something, right? Or the middle of the summer or whatever type thing. So yeah, if you want to know guys, all the information that I know up till right about now, then what you'd need to do is go to my YouTube channel and you'd watch these videos. Okay. So you watch this one here, which was uploaded three weeks ago. You can see right there. So watch that one. Okay. There, that's what the thumbnail looks like. Okay. So you go to videos. Okay. Watch this one and then come over here and watch this one, which was uploaded 13 days ago. Okay. So those are the two videos. If you watch those two videos, you know exactly what I know. And there's no point asking questions, you know, share information with us. What do you know? Kind of thing like that. Watch those two videos and you know what I know. Okay. Um, yeah. So here's another thing that you should do. Well, two more things you should do. You should verify your S group account. Okay. Verify your S group account. How do you do that? You come over here. Cause if you verify your account, you can get into the investors chat group, which I showed you there before edit profile, boom, verify your account. You're going to need to do things like send in a bank statement. Okay. Um, to prove your address, uh, send in a, a passport, you know, with a selfie, that type of thing. It shows you or tells you exactly what to do there. And if you don't know what to do, guys, contact your sponsor and ask them, Hey, how do you verify your account? And they'll walk you through it. Okay. Uh, there. Okay. So, um, what you don't want to do is message me and ask me that. Cause that's not my job. That's your sponsor's job, right? Unless I'm your sponsor. If I'm your sponsor, then you already know you can message me and ask me any question, right? Okay. So, uh, next thing here is you want to verify. So, or sorry, you've already verified your account. You want to go to the invite page. Okay. So click on invite, open that page up, and then you want to join these two groups here. Okay. So you want to join this one investors chat group, which is the one we were just in this one right here. Okay. This is the investors chat group where I said like, Oh, this is all the information I know guys. This is where I get it. I just look at what Sergi says. Um, you know, if it's something about the audit, if it's something about pre-trial, if it's something about, you know, a stage of where they're at or something like that, right. Or something like the latest thing he said was he gave the explanation of why they can't say the stage they're at. And the last news they could say was that all claims against the company have been proven to be false, meaning the auditing part is done, right? Okay. They can't say anything else uh, more than that about where they are and what stage they're in is because that could create new claims against the company. Guys, if I know something, right, and I, you know, the company has said it like it's been said in here, then of course I can say it. If it hasn't been said in here and it's just like something that I've heard from, say, an India member or something like that. Okay, here's something else I'm going to talk about because it is a big problem dealing with my YouTube comments because most of the people that comment in my YouTube comments are from India or Pakistan for some weird reason. <laughs> I don't know why, but I guess you guys don't feel you're getting the proper support from your sponsors above. Um, so what I've heard from a lot of you guys is that your sponsors are actually lying to you. Like they're holding webinars and you know, they're doing presentations and they're saying like, Oh, liquidity will be provided in 30 days or liquidity will be provided. I think the last thing I heard was May 15th or something like that. And then just to get you guys to invest, right. Thinking that, Oh, everything's going to be fine in a month. So I'm just going to invest now. Um, yeah, you have to think about things. Okay. Once again, it's just logic. Like, have you heard the company say that? Have you heard, Sergi say that? Have you heard Vadim say that? Right? Have you heard the people like through these videos that are in the investor chat group? Have you heard them say that? If they haven't said that, guys, then it's not true. Right? Because this is where all the information comes from. Okay? So if, you know, I'm sorry to say, but if your sponsor out there is just lying to you to try and get you to invest or to try and, you know, what I think, I don't think it's to get you to invest. I think it's so that you will stop asking questions like when's the audit going to be done or when's liquidity going to be provided, right? But here's the thing is something else you need to think about, right? Because I know this has been happening since like the second month of the audit is they've been saying, oh, it's going to be over in October. Oh, it's going to be over in December. Oh, it's going to be over in blah, 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 blah. And it goes on month after month after month after month. And if you have been hearing that for the last six months or five months or something, a date or a month that they're saying liquidity is going to be provided, guys, and it never comes to be true, then like, why would you even trust them anymore? 
Why would you go to my YouTube channel and say, oh, but my sponsor said this? You know, liquidity is going to be provided May 15th or whatever. No, guys, if, if the company has not said it, meaning the people that are here doing these videos through the investors chat group or Sergi's, you know, goes and makes a post in there or whatever, if you haven't heard it or said it through here, then it's not true, okay? Because it's first it's going to be in here and then everyone else will start talking about it, okay? So I'm not trying to like step on the India or Pakistan leader's feet or anything here, guys. But sometimes it's just common sense. Like if you feel like, oh, I don't know, that doesn't make sense. My sponsor has been telling me for the last six months, month after month, that the audit's done the next month or something like that. He's been saying that for five times already. Then sometimes it's just common sense. Like, okay, maybe that person's lying to me just so that I'll stop asking <laughs> kind of thing, right? So yeah, you just have to think about things, guys. And uh, it's not rocket science, right? Like just you know, buy, pay five bucks a month, upgrade your telegram. And then you can come in here and look through here, look at what Sergi's saying. 90% of the time, guys, he's just answering people's questions, but yeah, the odd 10% of the time that you'll see through here, he will give some information, some news that is like, Oh man, okay. That is a step forward. That's good. Or when Vadim does his webinars, wait for the translation to come out. Okay. Don't go and use Google translator on it, right? Because one word gets off and then it throws the whole meaning of things off. Okay. This has happened so many times, not through people on my team, but through YouTube comments and stuff, people saying, Oh, you know, I heard blah, 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 blah in Vadim's meeting. And, but it wasn't the same meaning of it. Right. Okay. So what I do is anything that is just coming to me in Russian where I don't speak Russian. So I'm just like listening to it, but I don't know like what Google is telling me in the translator and stuff, guys. I don't know if it's true, what I do is I wait for bilingual people to t put, to tell me the news, okay? So that's another big bonus thing of this group, guys, is whenever we have those big updates that Vadim does, I do a word-for-word -word translation from someone who's bilingual in English and Russian, right? And we do a translation word-for-word -word in here. So you know the exact wording that they're using, okay? Which is good, which when we, this is the hard part, is when we use the exact translation, guys, um, it, you know, it, it's not as like, because it is, you know, it's exact translation of what's being said, right? So some things are, because it's translation, it's not being said properly. So it's kind of hard to understand, right? Uh, so what I do is normally a day or two after that, when that translation comes out, I'll go and I'll do like a short form version of it, where it's, you know, easy in layman terms, basically, it's easy to understand. Um, but yeah, normally I, when I do those word for word translations, people don't understand it's word for word. And they're like, well, this doesn't make any sense. And, and this is so hard to understand. And they give it thumbs down and they're like mad at me and stuff. It's just, no, I'm trying to help you guys out the best I can by giving you the news as fast as I can. The fastest way I can do it is to actually translate it word for word for you. Right. Okay. So there's another big thing about being a part of this group here, guys, which is the English updates channel, which is the group that I own. Okay. So how do you get to that? Once again, go to any one of my videos. Okay. Go to the video description and then go click on that, my uh, English updates channel, and it'll take you into that group. Okay. So that's how you do that. So basically this group here, you want to get into, right? And then the investors chat group, which you get into through the invite page here. It's this group right here. Okay. This one, you should be a part of the official channel, right? But once again, it's just like updates of like how much we're earning and that type of thing. So it's not super, super important, but it is important guys. You're supposed to be in there and the investor chat group. Okay. The investor chat group, that's like the most important group to be in. Okay. I would think, okay. Cause that's, I get my news there guys. And then I just share it with you. That's basically what these videos are when I share news. Okay. So that's it for me guys. It's been 23 minutes and, um, we'll end it here. I'll put this together. Let's do a withdrawal here. We're going to do a withdrawal of SGCT. We got 125 of those guys. Go over here, grab the wallet address. Uh, so I'll have about 2,000 something of them. And I've already got them sold. I'm just waiting for the guy to send the uh, funds to my um, WISE account. Okay, so grab this code here and pop that in there. Grab the code for my Google Authenticator. I gotta drive. Oops. 
I got to drive to, I got to drive about two hours today and, um, go see my grandma. My grandma is a hundred, she'll be 101 this summer, but she's like on her way out now. So my dad, my dad and her live in the same town. So he said like, oh, you know, come down. Cause she's, I don't think she'll make it through tomorrow or the next day kind of thing. So I got to drive down. I got to pick up my brother from the airport. He flew in from BC and then uh, we're going to drive down to Peterborough, which is about two hours, um, uh, east of Toronto there guys in, in Ontario, Canada. So yeah, uh, I might not do a video tomorrow and we'll do this here. So there's that little withdrawal right there.